Right then, so to sum this all up, basically, Ryan Garcia has tested positive for Osterine in his B sample test, but somehow Devin Haney is actually still more of a hated guy than Ryan Garcia is. Uh, but yeah, so basically Ryan Garcia is a drug cheat. To sum this all up, it's unfortunate because, you know, I was so happy when Ryan Garcia got that win over Devin Haney, to be honest with you. And Ryan Garcia was really turning me into a big fan of him recently. But now it's just gone down here when I feel like a lot of people feel the same as I do about the whole thing. But I've seen so many others who were like, oh, we does not matter. But no, he's a drug cheat, basically. He's failed to be sample now. So the guy's now known as a drug cheat. He now needs to prove if, uh, well, how he got the drug into his system. Because clearly, you know, there is 100% osterine in his system. He needs to prove how it's in his system, how he got there. If he can't, like, say it was like an accident or anything like that, then it's then he's going to get a suspension that's it so yeah the, the osterine is in ryan garcia's system and yeah Devin haney's still more of a hated guy though because he's an absolute clown and you know even if this fight does end up going into being turned up into a no contest then i will still look at Devin haney as the guy who got his ass beat by ryan garcia simple as that like you know you can't hide the fact technically you know no matter what Devin Haney is not unbeaten. He got his ass handed to him. That's the thing. But at the end of the day, though, it's bad what Ryan Garcia did. It is. It is very bad what he did. The guy missed weight by three pounds on purpose and also is tested positive for Osterine. So, you know, it's not a good look for him. I've seen people saying, well, he's not real steroid. But look... It's an, you know, it's an illegal substance. You're not allowed it in boxing. So, you know... it. It is, you know, it's a drug which he's taken, which is illegal in boxing. So, you know, he's done a bad thing here. And, you know, so many people are trying to justify it. You can't, you know, I, so many people, you know, have been slamming, you know, like I always keep the same energy for, for you know, people who have tested positive for drugs and all that. People have been slandering people like Drown Miller. Connor Ben, but it's sticking up for Ryan Garcia. Keep the same energy for every person. Just keep the same energy for every person. If you're hating on Connor Ben and you're hating on Drew Miller and you're hating on Drew Miller or someone like that for doing it, then also hate on Ryan Garcia. But you know, if you're, you know, if you don't care that some like, you know, Connor Ben Miller did it, then you know, don't care about Ryan Garcia, but keep the same energy for every single person who did it. Otherwise, you're a bit of a hypocrite. But, yeah, there are so many people trying to defend this. I don't understand why. I don't understand why you defend a drug cheat uh, completely. You know, before this B sample came along, I was giving Ryan Garcia the benefit of the doubt like other people were. But now this has come through, you know, you, you can't defend it, in my opinion. You can't defend it. But there are so many people out there who are trying to. And I just don't understand why. Like, look. It's fantastic that, you know, we absolutely destroyed Devin Haney. And as I said a few minutes ago, you know, we're not going to forget that. Thank you, Ryan Garcia, for putting a beating on Devin Haney. But the fact is, is that the guy cheated badly. He cheated badly. Missed weight on purpose. Now this. So, you know, you can't just you can't justify those actions at the end of the day. You can't. But look, I feel like one, uh, you know, one reason why a lot of people don't care as much. And, you know, same as me, you know. It's it's like you, you you're not screaming and shouting like, you know, we're not screaming and shouting about it because, you know, we all love seeing him beat up Devin Haney and all that. And, you know, Devin Haney's just being sour about the whole thing. Can't take a loss anyway. Moaning about it consistently on X. And, you know, everyone's sick of Devin Haney, you know, with his racist comments and everything like that. Oh, I'll never lose to a white boy and stuff like that. Come on, like, there's no need for comments from Haney like that. And, you know, just in general, the guy's not a likeable guy. He's not at all. So, you know, that's why, you know, we're happy that Ryan Garcia absolutely absolutely destroyed the guy. But at the end of the day, you know, the guy's a cheat. So, you know, it doesn't get as much credit as it did because the guy cheated at doing it. And, you know, you know. By doing two things, Osterine and missing weight on purpose. So and, and you can't justify those things. Like, as I said, glad he beat Devin Haney, 
But at the end of the day, the guy cheated. And people are still defending you, saying, oh, real ones, no, you're innocent. But, you know, the tests say otherwise. I, I, he tested twice, um, positive twice before before the fight and after the fight. This is the third time Ryan Garcia has tested positive for Osterine. The third time. So you, it's, it can't, you can't justify it. The guy's a cheat at the end of the day, unless it accidentally got into his system, which we will find out soon. But yeah, so soon we will find out whether, you know, accidentally gone into his system, like apparently it did with Denny and White. And well, look, we're going to have to wait and see. But I'm gutted because, you know, I like Ryan Garcia. Well, I liked him. Uh, but, you know, it's like, it, yeah, it, 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 it's a real shame because credit is going to take be taken away from that win over Devin Haney. But Devin, you know, let's all remind Devin the fact that he got his ass handed to him and technically he's not unbeaten anyway. That's the thing. Um, yeah, look, the, the whole Ryan Garcia thing, such a shame, though. Such a shame uh, because, yeah, it just discredits everything. That was like fight of the year as well. I mean, like, you just don't look at it the same. You don't look at that fight the same. But, you know, again, we all still look at it at Devin Haney getting the shit beat and out of it. But for Ryan Garcia, it's not looking good for him on his side whatsoever. But I just don't understand why so many people are defending Ryan Garcia. He cheated. Yes, as I said, put a massive beat on Haney. Thank God for that. But the guy cheated and, you know... He, he, he should be punished for it. Simple as that. He, he, he should be punished for it. Uh, and, yeah, look, it is a shame. I know, you know, I'm upset like many other people are about this thing. But, you know, you can't be defending him for it. You can't be. That's the thing. So many people are. I just don't understand it. Keep the same energy for everyone else. He's a drug cheat. That's that's the thing. You know, it's been proven three times now, man. It's been proven three times. That, you know, the guy cheated. And what else, what else are you going to try and believe here? Like, yes, a lot of times before the fight, Ryan Garcia was innocent. Uh, and, you know, he, he proved that he wasn't uh, on anything. But And it was just before the fight where he popped for Osterine. And it just got into his system before the fight, which, yeah, it, 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 it's a shame. But, you know, some people were going to be making out conspiracies. But the main fact is, is that the guy's failed three times. Failed three drug tests now. So, yeah, that's my take on it all. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Okay, I'll speak to you in a bit. Thanks for watching. Peace out.